Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will see how to build a licensing system in your application. If you deploy your project to a Windows platform, you must remember that anyone could just copy-paste the project folder to another device and run it. Since you can't prevent the copy from being done, you can prevent your project from being run in devices that you don't allow. That can be done using the device's serial number. The goal is to check if the device's serial number is authorized or not. How to do it can be a subject of discussion and I'll exemplify one way of doing it. You'll need a server application which generates an encrypted text file with a specified serial number. Such application already exists and it's a Calypso sample. I'm going to launch a new instance of Calypso Designer And we can go to File, Open Sample, and now filter by tag Licensing. You can see that it has two related samples. The one we want is the one called Licensing Back Office. Let's open it. We can test this sample and use it to create our licensing file. So, I'm going to test. And I'm going to press the new terminal button. And now I need to input the serial number of the device. To retrieve it, I can go to the simulator. Tools, get PDA's serial number, get serial. Let's copy paste. Let's go back to the project. You can also fill in the customer field, of course. I'm going to call it tutorial. And save. OK, we can close it now and open the project folder on the simulator. So I'm going to end application, project folder on simulator. And we can see that a folder with a customer's name was created and inside there's a folder named after the serial number we've inputted and inside that folder it's the license file. If you open it, you can see that its content is an encrypted value. Obviously the value is the serial number we've inputted. So the next step is to change our application to check this file when it loads and if the serial number that it's in here it's equal to one on the device that we are going to run the application. So back to our application when the first form opens we need to load the content of that file. So file load content and for now, let's assume that the file is going to exist in the project folder. So we're going to use the keyword P folder. License.link. Let's select a temporary variable as a target of our file, which I'm going to rename to file content. To check what to specify in the Unicode parameter, we can check the project where the file was created. So we can go to the other project, go to the Save button, and open the file open action. Notice that the Unicode parameter when the file was created was set to yes. So of course we also set to yes here. Save. Let's put it in the beginning of the project. Now, the next step is to decrypt the content of the file. The easiest way to do that is to copy the encrypt action from the license back office project. So we can go to the other project again. We can copy the encrypt action. 
paste it in our project, right click and convert to Decrypt. So we need to change the source to the temporary variable file content. Let's put the target in the same variable. So we're going to decrypt from one variable to the same variable. So file content temporary variable will hold the encrypted serial number that is on the file and save. Do not forget the error management. Now we need to retrieve the serial number of the device where the application is running. So we need get serial number. Let's store it in a temporary variable, rename it to serial number. And finally, we need to compare the two values. So if and if they don't match, we'll give out a simple warning message box, no license. So there's no need for the else, so let's remove it. Save, and let's try it on the simulator. As you can see, there's an error due to the absence of the licensing file. You can even see on the trace, file load content, return an error. This is something that we can easily fix. Let's go back to the designer. And notice that if the content of the file can't be loaded, or even if it can't be decrypted, there's no way to check if the device is licensed or not. So we can just assume that there's no license in those cases. So we'll give out the same no license warning whenever this happens. So I'm going to delete it and paste, delete it and paste. So if there's an error opening the file or loading its content, we assume there's no license. If there's an error decrypting the serial number, we say there's no license. Save, and let's try it again. So now we get the no, the no license warning to the, the absence of the file. We say OK, and we get the warning again, but this time due to the failure of the decrypting. And again, because the two values don't match, we get the no license warning again. So the problem is, just, is that we just want to execute the decryption and the comparison if there's no error in the preceding action, in this case, the file load content or the decrypt. So we can go again to our project. And the good news is the on error action behaves just like an if. So just like an if, we can add an else. So right here, I'm going to put else. So if there was no error, and I'm going to move all these actions inside. Now I'm going to repeat the process for the on error of the decryption. So if there was no error in the decryption, we get the serial number and we compare the values. Save and one final test. So no license. And now we just have the no supported scanner or error connecting to scanner. We'll solve this later. Let's finish it up, the problem with the licensing, which is now working because we only get one message. Again, the error 
due to the barcode actions. So let's try our project in the mobile device. I'm going to pull up the screen. And as expected, we get exactly the same warning. Because remember that this method relies in the existing scene, sorry, in the existence of the file under the project folder. So let's close the application. Let's copy the file. Copy. Paste. into the project folder. Let's try it again to run the application. And now we get no error because the content of the file matches the, the serial number of the device. As a final test, Let's change the content of the file. So I'm going to switch this 6 by a 7, for instance. I'm going to save. Now I'm going to exit the application. And I'm going to copy the file again. Run the application again. Now, since the content of the file now doesn't match the serial number of the device, the warning is displayed. Instead of displaying a warning, you can close the project or disable some functions or even let the user try the application and close it after a few minutes. It's all up to you. Check the tutorial on action sets for more details. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about licensing.